sunny this morning. Oh, never mind. It's going to rain. Well, maybe not really. Ugh. Off and on throughout the day. Kind of crazy times. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed last weekend's reading. Because um, I truly enjoyed giving it. I hope that it guided you through the weekend. Hope you had a very safe and happy Halloween, Samhain, whatever it is you celebrate. All right, I was actually going to do a reading last night, but um, past few days at work have really kicked the crap out of me, so um, didn't feel like I really had the energy to do it, even though I really wanted to. But that's all right, November 1st. Some are gonna celebrate All Saints Day today. And if you're doing that, if you're going to church for it, that's great. I hope that it turns out rather wonderfully for you. Um, tomorrow, I know in my state, is uh, it's, it's uh, time to vote. I hope you get out there and vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. Just get out there and vote. Let's just hope nobody cheats. Let's hope there's no controversy. Let's hope it's clear cut. Anyway, I uh, wanted to get down to it today. Uh, for today's decks, I picked the Wild Unknown Tarot and the Sacred Rebels Oracle. Felt like we needed a bit of honesty for today. I uh, also got Spirit Animal, Runes of the Gods, and the Viking Oracle. So, naturally, you know I gotta use the Runes of the Gods. Those, those cards are absolutely awesome. Will I ever use the Viking Oracle's Rune cards again? Hmm, yes. <laughs> I even have a uh, small set of green aventurine rune stones on my altar. Uh, at some point, I probably will be using those again. Uh, I tend to use those for you know more personal things, and sooner or later, I really want to get out there and make my own set of runes. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. That's just something I wanted to share. We broke triple digits again on the very first day. We've had little trickles of new views every day this weekend. And so if you're a new subscriber or just a new viewer, if you're a new viewer, I'd really like for you to subscribe. That way you stay up to date on all of the readings that come through daily. And that way you can rock with us. Also, I lift my cup of tea to anyone who's been rocking with us from the beginning and to anyone who is currently just joining us. It is a pleasure having you. And it's a pleasure having tea with you. Or coffee. Whatever. Or hot cocoa or whatever is it. Or Pepsi. Whatever it is you're drinking. I don't care. That's up, that part's up to you. I'm, I'm having English breakfast tea because I need the jolt. <laughs> we, we experienced a nightmare scenario at work where I think it was Thursday Thursday I came in, I had not I had actually made a cup of tea, but I only took a few sips out of it, and I was not feeling energized. So I took down a, I took down a cold brew coffee, and whoa Nelly, ah, can't do that anymore. Jeez, that was uh, pretty horrifying. Anyway, let's get down to it, and let's start uh, laying out these cards, shall we? I probably should have been doing that while we were talking. But, got your significator there, got your guide here, Let me move these, wow, and then we're going for a spirit animal. By the way, um, I talked to, or actually, uh, Wendy shot me an email, uh, that's Wendy Wilson from Magic in Your Living Room, uh, she invoiced me for the um, the new custom altar cloths, which will be in. 
Yes, I will be doing an unboxing video right here on this channel, no matter where it is. Cloud Hub, YouTube, BitChute, Rumble, Odyssey, the works. Because I've already seen the designs, and I think I might have even shown you those designs. On this very channel, on one of these very videos. And, uh, yeah, they were, they were very, very nice, and, uh... I have carefully selected from a, uh, a group of eight, and the rest I will probably commission as tarot cloths later because they are beautiful. So they have been paid for, they will be arriving uh, very soon, and we will be featuring all of them right here on this channel, and I will probably even do a series of new intros featuring those very cloths that sit on my altar. Okay, and we gotta get, get the runes out there, don't we? Let's not forget those. Those are important. So this is just a standard reading, something general, something for all signs, something for today. This is sort of a, a divination equivalent of, I don't know who needs to hear this, but... If it resonates with you, wonderful. If you don't think it resonates with you, but it would resonate with someone else, share the video. And remember, every Friday, every weekend reading, we call it Full Scale Friday. That is what a, in fact, if you go back to the last video I did, that is what a personal reading sort of looks like. And if you would like a personal reading, it's very simple. Bring a friend, both of you... You have to be a subscriber, your friend subscribes, and the reference is you. I give you both a free reading, just like Friday's readings. I will need a name, a month and day of birth, and an email address to where to send the private link. And if you don't have a friend that you can take along, it's very simple. You hit my Amazon wish list, send me something off of that. I will give you two readings and a birthday reading, so you get three right there. All right, let's get down to it. So, who are we today? You are a sunstone. So this is where you really have to kind of dig in a little deep today. For some of you, this is the beginning of the week. For me, it's the end of the week. I'm, I've got two days off after this and a lot of stuff to do. But I will still be doing the readings. Anyway, this is where you guide and uh, show others the way. Right now, someone is kind of lost in the fog. Someone's kind of lost in the haze, and you've got to be the one to clear that haze. You've got to be the one that says, hey, the direction's this way, bud. Come on, I'll show you. So show them where they're going. Help them find their answers. That's what they're looking for. And for our guide today, we do have the halls. Guiding people does mean sacrificing things, ladies and gentlemen. And it's very, very simple. Sometimes, in order to guide someone else, you have to step out of your own comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone can mean a personal sacrifice of some kind or another, giving something up. Uh, for the ancient Norse, giving up their lives in battle meant they were going to a bigger reward. Whether that was the halls of Cessarnir, run by Freya, or to the halls of Valhalla, uh, of course, run by Odin. So there were two halls where the battle dead went. Your battles are probably going to be much different today. As a matter of fact, we're all facing battles, just remember that. And what we sacrifice can sometimes benefit others. So there is a little sense of community here. And for the, for the spirit animal, we have none other than a hummingbird spirit. Which means that you have to be here now. You have to... You have to be consciously aware of your situation. You have to really understand exactly what it is you're looking at. You have to be in that moment. And I know, personally, I can tell you, since this is the end of my week, I am looking forward to being off, you know, run down to the liquor store, grab a six-pack of beer, come home, maybe have a drink or two, and just kind of kicking back. But that comes when it comes. Right now, 
I have to do this reading. I have to be aware of these cards for you. When I'm at work, I have to be aware of what I'm doing at work. <laughs> Let me tell you, attention span at work is extremely important. So we're going to be going with a lot of focus today. Now, let's get into the tarot and find out what's going on. We have the sun. There we go. There's your direction right there. There's, your, there's, the, there's that light. That's what you need to be focusing on. We have three of cups. And then we have the Son of the, sort of that Son of Cups that, um, we do have a bit of celebration here. So there is good news to this. And as long as we're honest with ourselves and each other, I don't see where we, where we really have a problem. And that Son of Cups, this is where we're going to get a little introspective. going to be doing a lot of create creating with our emotions and that's a that's always a great thing it's it's interesting that this comes up before the son of cups or that page of cups because what this tells you and I think my Christian friends may um, you know the, the view, my Christian viewers may actually get a kick out of this little reading here so you do have the Sun the light of the world you do have collaboration and celebration and then you have this son of cups right son again so we do have the power to create within us and it's a it's very important that we use that power to create now getting creative can mean anything if you're in a job that's very left brain very analytical uh, very you know we really do need to take a little bit of grounded action. We can't just uh, start <laughs> composing poetry in the middle of a in the middle of a meeting on finance, can we? Uh, that's not going to work. However, what we can do is we can make creative ways of getting our colleagues, maybe maybe inspiring them in some way, maybe uh, motivating them, driving them to a certain degree. And that's what I'm looking at right here. So, it, it, and it's very much a process of patience. You're going to have to be a little patient with it. It's going to move kind of slowly, but you do have everything in place to really make that difference and to make it today. Let's get into, let's get into the Sacred Rebel, see, what, see what's going on here. What else do we need to know? Well, we do have conscious connections. Okay, that is something to build any kind of conscious connection with someone else this could and this could be anything this could be your client this could be a friend this could be a co-worker this could be uh, your boss your boss is, is there today obviously um, any interpersonal dealings don't make them lightly this is not a time to take that lightly this is a time to make that effort and to show that hey I understand what you're saying and he, you know I know how you feel I felt that way myself here's what I found so you know sort of those kind of things but you know every interaction does need your focus today so the next thing we do have inspiration pointing right at that Sun card and I say pointing to it because you can see we're Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to be illuminated in some of the biggest ways possible today. And I think today is a day where we're going to learn some very interesting stuff. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Dagaz rune appeared today because that is going to be our breakthrough and balance and, and, you know, that sort of justice in the world, even though the justice card didn't come up. I'm definitely seeing that here today. And then what we have is... Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. Somehow I get the feeling this is going to be a very, very big card. And I really want to get its message right. What I'm seeing is uh, 
what I'm personally seeing is we got to let go of this inner darkness. Okay, it, this this um, or we got we got we got to get free of our own darkness. That's just it. I've always said this: you cannot remain chained to the darkness of your past and expect a very bright future. That's just not going to happen. And to me, being a cause means do what you do. Do that which lights you up. And don't worry. Don't worry about uh, all those inner doubts and fears and uncertainties. They're, they're just not... In fact, expel them today. Because right now, this is what the book says. Dear Sacred Rebel, this moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you possess that in bucket loads. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and a heart that is surrendered to the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us, through us, and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully, more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality not, a, not only of potential but of manifestation of the great big cosmic yes. To access this reality, you have to leap from known waters and and others may think you're crazy from, for doing so. You have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip of hesitation, procrastination, second-guessing, and the belief that you have to do everything on your own. You may fear for your life. How will you be safe in the wild electrical pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without hazy, sleep-inducing paralysis of playing it safe, taking too long, and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life? How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold on to fear? So, there we go, I was right. You don't need to worry about such things. Life is wild, but it's also wise. It is a force of startling, raw awakening at times, but it is also the natural process of evolution where all, thing, all things mature according to a seasonal cycle in right timing. You are a part of, not apart from, that process. So, it's not the time to be passive and just flow along. This is a time for you to take action. Bold action. Ladies and gentlemen, for some of you, if it means quitting that job that's making you miserable, if it means uh, getting out of that relationship that's making you miserable, if it means letting go of your misery, then do it. Today's the day. All right. Now, let's go to the runes and find out what's going on. We have Thurasaz. This is where your conflict and your challenge comes up. This is where we're going to experience we're going to experience some pushback for everything we're about to do. Whether whether we're in our truth or not, I can tell you right now, those in their truth, those that have held to it, who have uh, who have, you know, aligned their lives, those who have uh, really looked at it and said, This is where I need to go guess what? You're going to get some pushback. I never said this was going to be easy, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we have Avaz. So, it's also a transitional period today. And guess what? Or Avaz, rather, not Avaz. But this is that transitional period. Um, just like these cards have said, you will grow, but you have to give yourself over. You have to trust the timing. You have to trust the, uh, the messages that you're getting to move on if something is not working. You know, this is where the fear, uncertainty, and doubt is going to come up. But this is where you say, you know what? I've had enough of you. It's time to move on. Okay, and finally, we do have Lagus. Now this one, this one is gonna represent uh, sort of that water and flow of life. Remember we said today's not the day to go with the flow. No, today is the day 
where you do take bold action, but you also do have to try. You can't just, well, I'm going to mindlessly go through my day to day. Know what I mean? Like you, you've been there. You've done that. That is a part. That is a part of a lot of us that sort of haze induced. Okay, got to do this. Got to do that. Uh, what time is it? Uh, uh, how long? How much longer do I have to be here? That sort of thing. You've experienced that before. Watching the clock, beating the dead horse, beating it into glue and jello for for Pete's sake. But today is not that day. Today you're going to have to really examine what's going on. You, the, the person for whom you may be your sunstone, it might be you. Okay? You're going to have people to collaborate with. You're going to have people to celebrate with. You will have people who will support you. But you're going to have a lot more people that are going to say, you're, you're absolutely crazy. You're directly out of your mind. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Why are you doing that? The fact of the matter is you're doing it because it's best for you. And that's really everything. And if you're tuned into your truth, that sun is going to shine your path completely through. You're going to be able to get out of the water. You're going to be able to get on that, on that road or even pave your own little new path. And it doesn't matter. If anyone says, you're nothing without us, or you'll get nowhere, disregard guard them sweep them aside because once you are successful then they're going to come out of the woodwork well we knew you could do it we were we were we had all the confidence and faith in you in the world of course you did yeah get lost anyway but it does require you to be in the moment it does require you to make those conscious connections with each and every person that you meet today it does require that you absolutely pay attention to what it is you're doing, saying, thinking, and feeling because some things you think, do, say, and feel may not be compatible with your actual truth. They may not actually light your path as you need it to. But anyway, that is what I have for you today. I hope that you found this enlightening. I hope that this is good news for you for today. I hope that the fear is not too much, because guess what? When you live in fear, when you stay chained to the darkness, when you stay chained to the fear, the uncertainty, and the doubt, you will never move forward. You will, if, you're, if your greatest fear is failure, you will never move forward. You will never grow. You will never learn. As a matter of fact, I want to point out something. Uh, I do... I uh, still kind of tinker with electronic boards and devices sometimes because I'm a big old nerd and I used to work at Radio Shack. And um, I have this book, and one of the lines in it was, burn things out, mess things up. That's how you learn. And one instance of that, and I'll tell you this story before I go, I decided, and many of you probably won't understand this, but those who do, they know. Uh, I was playing with LEDs and resistors, kind of getting to know how that kind of thing worked. And I had 9 volts of battery energy between there and the LED. And I was told to put a couple resistors, and I can't remember what the, what the resistance was on those. But I put those resistors there, touched the wires together, LED lit up. It was beautiful. Then... I said, well, what would that look like without the resistors? And so I took the wires directly to the leads of the LED, clamped them on, and the thing went to popping and exploding and, you know, sputtering. And finally, it just literally lit on fire. Uh, it was a very small fire, about the size of a candle flame, so no, no big deal there. And I blew it out. And it was... I. Of course, disconnected it very quickly. It was one of the most beautiful and terrifying things I've ever seen. But I learned very quickly, this is why you put resistors between, <laughs> between the full voltage and the uh, object that needs to be powered. Sometimes that little bit of resistance is what's needed. 
Sometimes you just can't take the full power of things. Sometimes you need that little bit of need that little bit of pushback and that nope, 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 you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that. That way you know exactly what kind of push you need to give yourself. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful Monday morning. I hope you have a beautiful Monday. Be sure to take care of yourselves and each other. Remember that I love you all. And I just want to see you do well today. And every day. And every weekend. Do, always do what lights you up. Because you never know who you may light up. And as always, my friends, shine on. <laughs>